Greetings and welcome to the very first lesson of the Bitcoin Economics course. In this lesson, we're going to be taking a very high level overview of what exactly Bitcoin is, what technological innovation it introduces, and what problem Bitcoin solves. Now, it's important to understand that Bitcoin is not necessarily money for the internet, but it is rather an internet of money, a very important distinction. How this internet of money is formulated is through an economy of interconnected computing. Essentially, computers across the world are constantly updating, synchronizing, and expanding a single file which houses the transaction information of every payment that has been made with Bitcoin. By doing this, these computers, or miners as they're known, are compensated directly in new Bitcoin. This is the only way that new Bitcoin enters circulation. These miners are devoting their computing power to verifying payments made with Bitcoin and therefore the security and the integrity of the Bitcoin network. Let's take a look at just how exactly this works. The Bitcoin payment system is a decentralized, borderless, global economy, whereas the peers or the nodes of the Bitcoin network are the miners, once again, constantly working and competing to verify transactions being made with Bitcoin. And for doing this, the incentive mechanism is being compensated directly in new Bitcoin. Now, one of the problems that Bitcoin solves is removing the requirement of trusted third parties in online transactions, a solution that has only come with years of research into cryptography and financial technology. More interestingly, one of the innovations that makes Bitcoin so special it is that it's not regulated by central banking institutions or economists, but rather by a computer algorithm. This computerized function of money states that on average every 10 minutes new Bitcoin will enter circulation and no deviation in the demand for Bitcoin or external factors will shake the supply issuance, something that we'll get into later. The Bitcoin network first came online in 2009 and we can indeed go back through the blockchain ledger and take a look at some of the very first transactions that were made. This technology could have a very disruptive potential implications for industries ranging from banking to personal identity management as Bitcoin continues to mature and strengthen as its user base grows as well. If you're looking for a very technical analysis and to understand Bitcoin on a deep level, then I would recommend reading through the official Bitcoin white paper. This document makes an integral read for anyone who's understanding Bitcoin on a deep technical level. And you can find this white paper at bitcoin.org slash bitcoin.pdf, a highly recommended reading in order to understand Bitcoin. In this lesson, we looked at some of the ways Bitcoin is different from our traditional forms of money by being regulated through a computer algorithm. We established that Bitcoin is a digital economy formulated by a network of computers known as miners. And these miners are constantly competing to verify new payments made with Bitcoin and embed that data into the constantly growing blockchain ledger. This is essentially how Bitcoin works and it is made possible by decades of research into cryptography and financial technology. That does it for this first lesson. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.